As I was telling you guys in the last video, I told you that I had a few things that were coming in the mail that I wanted to get for the 50 in order to make it perform a little bit better. So the first thing is the chain because by increasing the sprocket size, you're going to increase the amount of chain that you're gonna need. This one, I am already adjusted all the way forward. So there's no more adjustment left. So I need another chain. Um, or at least a few links, but I'm just going to use a new chain because I might as well. Uh, here's my new sprocket. I'm going up to the 16 tooth in the front. And here's a performance CDI. I don't know if this is going to do anything, but I figured, you know what? What the hell? Why not? It was like very cheap. <laughs> Jeez, that was dirty as shit. 14. So we're going from 14 to 16. Now, I just want to show you guys this. Same exact position as the old sprocket, and this is the old chain. Because the sprocket is bigger, this chain will not fit the new sprocket, right? So that's why we need to change the chain out. Old chain, goodbye. Uh, I don't know if I should do that. Let me just put it here. If you guys have never gotten a new chain, uh, there's a few things that you guys might want to know. This is called a master link. This is from the old uh, chain. I'm going to just keep it just in case I ever need it. And if this one doesn't come with a master link, then I'm going to have to reuse this and clean it off, obviously, because it has more shit on it than a gorilla's ass. This is how a chain comes. It comes like pre-lubed. It's almost like a little condom gizmo that it comes in. Yeah, and then all I got to do is measure this and then punch it out. Got the link that I need to take out, and I'm gonna use this tool right here to de-link the chain or to shorten it. I forgot you have to take the master link off, so that's what I'm doing. Okay, as you guys can tell, I'm inside now. I lost light, although it is as warm as summer. It doesn't stay light out as long as summer. I have the master link unlinked, so I'm ready to put this on. I got that link on, this is the master link, and how you put this back on is you just slide it like this, and then you have to click it over. I don't think I could be, I'm not gonna be able to do it with my hand, and I'm also not sure if I could do it one-handed, but it's worth a shot. It's a little loose, the chain, but yeah, it's gonna get loose anyways. Actually, you know what? It's not terrible, but it's definitely a little loose. Um, I'm gonna have to tighten it up with these chain adjusters, but that's the least of my worries right now. I want to get the CDI. I wanna get the CDI in, and that's the that. I've never actually installed a CRF 50 CDI, but I've built a couple of bikes that have the same Honda engine, so I'm pretty sure it's just plug and play. Okay, we got the plastics off. This is the CDI unit. This might end up being a pain in the nutsack to get off, but we're about to find out. Yeah, it's near the shock, but it should be good. 
Okay, now the plastics go back on. Now this shit's all back together, so I'm gonna go outside and give it a kick and see what happens. Well, the saga continues. I think I must have put in the CDI the wrong way. So guys, um, I figured out what the problem was yesterday. The problem was that the CDI that I got uh, came dead on arrival. <laughs> so the unit itself was bad. So I just swapped uh, the CDI out for the stock one. I'm gonna go and take a new top speed run with the new front sprocket, see if we can get faster than 25 miles an hour. All right, let's go. See if we can get any faster than 25 miles an hour. But I think first we're gonna need to warm this thing up because it's bogging out like a son of a bitch. It seems like it has a lot less torque in second gear. Let's see. Already got a much better feeling about this. A much better feeling about this, guys. I'm not topping out as early as I was before. This is very good. I'm uphill right now and I'm going 24, so that's a good sign. Uh, I realized that last time my speedo was way off just because in my video I took my hands like this and then all of a sudden it went from like 17 to 27. <laughs> 77, 7, 7. Oh. I still don't feel great about this. I'm gonna say maybe 32 miles an hour is gonna be my goal. Three, two, one. So I, I feel like I would benefit so much from uh, another gear, which is kind of crazy. Um, I might just have to do that. Like right now, I feel like I'm not, I, I'm not at the limit of this bike, but I'm at the limit of the RPMs in third gear, which kind of sucks. Guess that's all that it has, uh, which is interesting to me because I've seen online people get like 40 miles an hour, and I guess it just. Holy shit, I guess that just isn't true. Now, granted, I am 170 something pounds and, and uh, you know, a full grown ass adult. I've heard people get like much better top speeds because of the tires that they use. Now, if you didn't know, I'm on the shitty ass Chenzing, whatever the fuck you want to call it, tires. I still would benefit from going down on the back sprocket, I think. I'm pretty sure that would be that would be beneficial i'm still running out of gear which i need to to fix oh, i need to fix this goddamn mirror that's what i need to do definitely a significant increase i i went up two teeth in the front it's just not as harsh i don't know how to even downshifting is not as harsh and it really is just as easy in the first gear like i don't have any problems doing that that is the gayest thing i've ever seen why if you're gonna get a convertible get a convertible don't get an suv convertible like what the fuck now i, I saw some people comment it was like put your feet on the pegs well like my knees like touch my arms when they're on the pegs um i probably should get like big boy like pegs like you see what i'm saying like look when my feet are on the pegs they hit my arms so i actually what i do i'm not dragging my feet i'm putting my feet on these pegs back here um because it's just more comfortable for me i don't know Oh Jesus, I almost just bust my ass. I feel like I look like an idiot. I am on a pink CRF 50, but 
I feel like I look like an idiot uh, trying to wheelie with my feet on the back pegs. But if anybody has any suggestions, please let me know. Cause like my like, look at this. Like uh, I I feel like an idiot with my feet on the pegs. So I'll put my feet straight out. How about that? Catch me outside. How about that? Angle this up a little bit for a better camera angle. So you're not staring at my balls. <laughs> Oh, that was really good. All right, let's do some off-road action. Oh, fuck yeah. Deer shit everywhere. Oh, shit. Even the Grom can't do this. I hope you liked this video. If you did, don't forget to hit the like button. If you're a new viewer, don't forget to subscribe. Oh, fuck. Peace out. Did you? Oh, shit. I dropped it.